Hey everybody, Ann here, and it is a beautiful day outside today, so let's see how many projects I can get done with the stuff I got yesterday. That went together in a snap. It was very easy, didn't need any tools, you just put it together, and I'll raise it or lower it, in just depending on, you know, what I need. Um, it even comes with a commode liner. Now, I'm not going to use that, but I'll find another use for that, definitely. Every single bit of this I will be using. That box is going to get shredded and used for kindling. It came with some really nice plastic bags that I can use for trash and a nice big bag. I even save these twist ties because I'm always looking for like a bag of something to twist off and those are some really nice strong twist ties. So there we go. That's what it looks like. Now it comes with a little pot. I'm not going to be using that pot, but you know what? I was going to buy a wash basin just to kind of, you know, I have a bucket for my water, but if I just wanted to kind of like wash something, or I can even use that to wash dishes, comes with a little lid over it. Um, shoot, I could even turn that into a planter. Ha! There we have it, folks. And you know what? I don't think I even need to use this, but I've got another use for that, and I'll show you in, in a little bit. But... There you go. I've got my little compost material, bulk material over there, and some toilet paper and a plastic baggie. I've got the bucket right underneath, and it's centered underneath, so that stuff will go right on in, cover it up. I found that the most comfortable for me was on the lowest height setting. So this is going to be perfect, and once I stop using uh, you know, leaves and pine needles and whatnot, um, and get mulch because the mulch it will completely eliminate any odors. Now, there's very, very little teeny tiny odor with the leaves and whatnot. Um, they just don't seem to, I don't know, cover it up as good, but just the cheap mulch, uh, I'm going to get a big bag of that and I'm going to put it right over there and it's just going to smell wonderful and earthy in here. It just gives it like a woodsy smell. So it is absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect. There's just, uh, I know, that's gross looking down into the toilet. But all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is use the tarps to make a little enclosure in here. Um, I'm going to use this stake here. Hopefully put it right down here and try and make a little privacy thing just using tarps. So let me see if I can get that done. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, my homemade potty stall, outhouse, whatever you wanna call it. I just use one eight by 10 tarp. I use some, well, I actually use some drywall screws. And like you can see up here, I use the grommets. I wanted to be able to take this down easily if I wanted to. And I just put them up there and use the grommets to kind of secure them. Here's the little door. You just unhook. Oops. Go in and do your business. And you are in complete privacy. You can't see anything with it that close. I had thought about putting a part of the tarp up here too. But you know what? I didn't have to, and this way it worked just fine. It still gives it a little bit of ventilation through here. If this part tarp messes up, I can always put uh, another tarp there. Um, but it works. It's going to be great. The little blue bucket is underneath there. And up there you can see I just put it through the grommets so that I can easily take it down. I may secure this side a little bit better. I don't know. Nah, I don't think I need to. Honestly. I think it's fine. Um, I've got the brick holding it down in the bottom there. And then the potty itself kind of holds holds this part of it. Um, and for this part, I just got another one of those long thingies. I don't know what it used to be. I think it was part, maybe part of a sliding glass window or something. Uh, pounded it into the ground. And I did put a little sock that I found over the top of it because this part's kind of sharp and I didn't want it to cut a hole in that. And then just another drywall screw there and a drywall screw there. So I can take this down very easily if I need to. And there's plenty of room. See, I'm going to sit down right now. And I've got plenty of space between me and the tarp. So I think this is great. 
I'm pretty proud of it. And when you come in, of course, you can close this better if you want to. I probably won't. But, haha, -ha, there she is. My little outhouse with one tarp. Yeah. And just so you can see the rest of the shed, I did kind of clean it up a little bit yesterday. Um, and then I started getting prezzies and I got distracted. Ha. <laughs> But I went ahead and put together that shelf. Why not? You know what? It's dirty. Um, I can clean it off. I've just got a few things stored on it. I put the bucket on top of that little thingy. Um, in fact, I've got several of those. I've got a bunch more of them over there. And I'm thinking that I can use those on the floor of my cabin if I get a wood-burning stove. You guys let me know your thoughts. Uh, one tarp down, seven more to go. I can't wait for my next projects. I brought the worm bin out here. There's a cooler. There's nothing cold in it. And, yep, so there we go. That's my shed right on. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my wood pile. All I did is put the part tarp down. Nothing magical about this, except for it makes me feel magical. And there's a couple old pallets underneath there. And so, I don't know. I have to have them from size. This one needs to be cut shorter, but I'm just leaving it for now. Yeah, varying different sizes. I leave these long ones out here because I may use them for garden stakes. But, yep, I can cover it up for when it's raining, but today I'm going to go ahead and just leave it uncovered because I want this wood to dry out. And be easy to burn. Yeah, that's another idea for a tarp. And guys, I'm really, really sorry about the shaky, fast-moving camera. It even makes me a little bit dizzy to watch it, so I'll try and get better at that, I promise. So let's see, I've done the porta potty outhouse thingy using a tarp. I've made the wood shelter thingy using a tarp. Huh, what other kind of projects can I get done today? Hmm. Okay, guys, I was having fun getting ready to do my next project, and I heard some rustling over off to the left of me by that big thing of, uh, thing of wood. My heart is beating so fast right now, so guess what I've got? Oh, my God, there's a snake. Shit. It's right over there. I think it went into a little hole. I've been wondering what I've been hearing over here. Oh my gosh. And I am just so sorry, but this is the only footage where I actually captured the snake. You can see it there right in the middle. And all the other footage, I must not have hit the record button, but um, I took a few still photos from the screen grabs that's one good one. Um, it's a big snake. If you look at it, that's really only about half of it because two feet on the other side, the tail comes out and um, it was just sitting there. So I don't know if this is a water moccasin, um, if it's a cottonmouth water moccasin. I couldn't see the underside of its head. So I don't know. Um, I've never seen these. I mean, water moccasins to me, I thought that they were darker in color. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping this is just a harmless snake. It was really hard for Mr. Lucas to be able to see it because we were out in the sun and, um, it was so hard for him to see it. He, so he wasn't really sure. It has left. It's moved on. But for days I have been sitting out on my porch and at nighttime, I've been hearing something kind of moving around, but not like a squirrel or a bird. Mr. Lucas, you saw the little photo of the head. What do you think it is? It looks more like a moccasin, but the, but the brownish stripes are on it, around it and on it. Yeah? That's about as much as I've seen of it, the head of it. So what's the easiest way to kill them? Huh? What's the easiest way to kill them? Uh, you just got to, you know, when you see them, you got something to kill them with, kill them. Well, you brought a shovel over. I but mean, I didn't see it anywhere. Yeah, I know, but what do you do with it the shovel? It was probably gone. You done scared it off. Yeah. So do you just chop his head off? Yeah, just chop his head off. Kill him. Or what if you have a gun? Can you just shoot it? I got a 22, uh, 22 in there. But I, All right, if I see it again. I'd probably miss it if I shot it. 
Yeah, but what if I had a shotgun? What if I got shotgun a shotgun? Shotgun would be be better. All right. If I get a shotgun, will you sh will you teach me how to shoot it? Yeah, all you gotta do is put shell in there. And boom. <laughs> I adore you. Say hi to the internet. Hi, everybody. <laughs> that Mr. Lucas, he is awesome. He is just, he came right over with his shovel. He's out there tilling his garden right now. Came right over with his shovel, and he says, I'll kill him with a shovel. But by that time, it had slithered away. So, oh my gosh. Okay, I was going to add something else to this video because actually something really awesome just happened. Actually, one, two, three, four awesome things just happened, but my heart is absolutely beating 100 miles a minute, so I'm going to close this video out. I'm going to be fine. I mean, it's just a snake, right? And it's not like it's coming up to my doorstep or anything, but I'm going to get a gun. Um, I'm going to have somebody teach me how to shoot it because... I'm a terrible shot, but I'm thinking that my likelihood of hitting a critter like that, um, if it is indeed a dangerous one, I, w I won't kill the non-dangerous snakes, but if we find out that that's a dangerous one, I'm going to shoot them. And I don't think I could do it with my nerves, um, with a like a handgun or a rifle, but I think my chances would be very good with a shotgun. So. I'm going to start saving up. I'm going to start looking around. Um, what do you think is a good shotgun to have? Um, I mean, I live out here. Um, there's all kinds of critters. At nighttime, I hear them um, off in the distance, and I don't know what they are. I hear some sounds and whatnot. Um, they're probably all harmless, and they would never approach me or, or Betty or anything, but I want to be prepared. So, anyhow, um, what a day. <laughs> That's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.